pursuit of continuous quality education. Living up to DepEd's mandate of no student should be left behind. From the home of Serong Bangui, the land of Oragons, this is Santo Domingo National High School. School on Air. School on Air. Blessed morning, everyone, especially to grade 9 students. I hope you are alive, alert, and awake because later you will not only learn but also enjoy with activities. So, I hope you stay with me all the way. I am Teacher Runiel from Santo Domingo National High School, Junior High School Department. At this moment, kindly get your ball pen and some sheets of papers. They are needed for jotting important notes and answering several activities you are about to do. Also, kindly get your learning activity sheets in PE9, Quarter 3, Week 1, 2, and 3. Our lesson is about the physical activity and physical fitness assessment. So, class, are you ready to listen and learn? All right, but before we proceed to our topic, I will give you a minute to do your personal necessity. Breathe in, breathe out, Stretch your body, wiggle your hips, shake, shake your hand, so that later you can focus in listening our topic for today. Okay, my dear grade 9, you are one minute starts now. I think everything is set now. Again, our lesson for today is about the physical activity and physical fitness assessment. Fitness plays a significant role in our existing as human beings. It is a sustaining base of our physicality that allow us to overcome challenges of our daily living. It is with fitness that our eagerness to do things that we are capable of doing physically arise, which eventually lead us in making our own lives, including that our others, better and more productive. Do you agree, class? All right, let us try activity number one, entitled Warm Up. Before we proceed to warm up exercises, Record your heart rate before and after the physical activity to keep track on the fitness level. Remember, one of the most efficient ways to assess your fitness is through your heart rate. Also, please take note that we have two formulae or formulas to consider in computing the THR or target heart rate. First, for the moderate, we have 40% to 55%. 
And second, for the big rules, 60% to 85%. So that we can compute our personal maximal heart rate, the formula is THR 220. That is constant. Minus your age is equal to personal maximal heart rate. Can you follow me? Then compute for moderate 40% to 55%. And for, for vigorous 60% to 85%. Did you get it class? Alright. Before answering the activity, you may perform the exercises on page 2 of your learning activity sheets. Again, don't forget to take note of your heart rate before and after performing the exercises. Are you ready? I give an example how to compute the activity. Let me give you an example. 220 minus my age. My age is 48. So, 220 minus 48 is equal to 172. Multiply 0.4 because of moderate to 40% and is, is equal to 68.8 for moderate. Did you get the class? Let's try to vigorous. 172 multiplied by 0.6. Is equal to 103.2. Did you follow me, class? Can you try to compute the 55% and 85%? Alright. I give you an ample time to do this. Let's begin. Are you done, class? Very good. Let's proceed to activity number two, entitled HR or heart rate log. In your activity sheet, there is HR log, a template that allows you to self-assess and report your heart rate before and after you perform physical activity. The time you spend and your rate of perceived exertion. RPA. How hard was the activity? May I repeat, the time you spend is, or example, 5 minutes, 6 minutes, or 7 minutes. Okay. Exertion RPA, how hard was the activity? Of the physical activity you do on a daily basis, fill out necessary data in the table in your activity learning sheets of page 2. Again, I give you time to do this. Before you do this activity, let me explain first the PMHR pre or initial heart rate or count your heartbeat in 10 seconds, then multiply it by 6. Can you get it? May I repeat? PMHR pre initial heart rate or count your heartbeat in 10 seconds then multiply it by 6 that is your PMHR pre and after your activity count again your heartbeat multiply it by 6 that is your PMHR pause then write it on your table did you understand class? Are you ready? Please begin now. Are you done? Congratulations for the job well done. Now, let's take a look on activity number three. Entitled, Festival Dancing Questionnaire. In your activity sheet, there is a survey questionnaire that reveals your involvement or participation in pits, uh, festival dances that also enhance your fitness. Accomplish it by putting a check mark corresponding to your response in each item. May I repeat? 
There is a survey questionnaire that reveals your involvement or participation in festival dances that also enhance your fitness. Accomplish it by putting a check mark corresponding to your response in each item. You may now answer the activity. Please begin. Kindly pass your ac activity during the retrieval and distribution of module. May I repeat? Kindly pass your answer during the retrieval and distributions of module. Great! You were able to do it. Now, you may answer the process question. Listen carefully. Based on your interpretation of responses to the survey questionnaire, what does this reveal about your fitness and community involvement? May I repeat? What does this reveal about your fitness and community involvement? Express and share your answer in three to five sentences. I will give you an ample time to do this activity. Kindly pass your output during the retrieval and distribution of module. I am excited to see your outputs for survey questionnaire for festival. Excellent! Everybody, clap your hands! Now, we are done with all the activities in PE9, Quarter 3, Week 1. Congratulations, class! By the way, we, you are going to submit your output during the schedule of the retrieval and distribution of module. You can review your answer or go back to the exercises or activities as you still have ample time. Is it clear, class? Let's proceed to the, to the week 2 and 3 of your activity learning sheets. May I repeat? Let us proceed to the week 2 and 3 of your activity learning sheets. Activity number 1. Match it up. Activating prior knowledge. May I read to you the direction of this activity? Below is a matching type activity which will access, uh, assess your prior knowledge on the festival we have in our country and their place of origin. And column A are the festival, the name of the festival. And in column B are the places of origin. May I repeat? B are the places of origin of the festival. Write the letter of the origin of the festival in each number. Are you ready to answer? Let us begin. Very good, guys. Let's proceed to the next activity, week 2 and 3. Are you ready? Which is activity number 2. Identify me. Let me read to you the direction of this activity. Identify the following festival, whether religious, in honor of our certain religious icon. May I repeat? Identify the following festival, whether religious, in honor of a certain religious icon, or a secular, non-religious, in thanksgiving or a celebration of people's industry and bountiful harvest. May I repeat? For secular, non-religious, in thanksgiving or celebration of people's industry and bountiful harvest. For example, our festival, support Sarumbangi Festival, is it religious or a secular? Mm-hmm. It is a secular. Write your answer on the space provided before each number. Please answer this activity. I know you can do it. Now, let's proceed to the process question. Let me read to you the following process question. Please listen attentively. Number one. Why is there a need for festival? 
festival dances. May I repeat? Number one, why is there a need for a festival or festival dances? Number two, how do you think can festival dances help you enhancing your fitness? May I repeat? Number two, how do you think can festival dances help you enhancing your fitness? Number three, what value do festival dances develop in a community fitness? Number three, what value do festival dances develop in community fitness? We need your opinion and ideas for this activity. I know you can do it. Go, go, go! Congratulations, guys, for the job well done. Kindly submit your output during the retrieval and distribution of module. I'm excited to see your outputs. All right, if you have any questions, concern, and clarification about the activities, you may send a message in our group chat. I am always willing to assess and help you anytime, anywhere. From Grade 9 Vango, Grade 9 Agoho, and Grade 9 Lawaan. According to Thomas Jefferson, exercise and recreation are as necessary as reading. I will rather say more necessary because physical education is work more than learning. Always remember that class. So, that's all for today. It has been another awesome day of learning. I hope you enjoy today discussion in PE9, Quarter 3, Week 1, 2, and 3. Until next time, remember what John F. Kennedy, one of the Presidents of the United States of America, said, Intelligence and skill can only function at the peak of their capacity when the body is healthy and strong. This had been your radio teacher, Sir Runyel, saying, if you don't take care of your body, where will you live? I repeat, if you don't take care of your body, where will you live? Until next time, Good, good, goodbye!